Hello, this is Peng from LabVIEW by Example and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you the steps to download and install the latest version of National Instruments, NI for short, LabVIEW. And as of this post, LabVIEW 2017. Since you've decided to watch this video, you may already know what LabVIEW is, but if not, in a nutshell, LabVIEW is a software development tool that applies graphical programming, syntax, and excels in applications for test, measurement, and control. You'll find its use mainly in the design or production of physical things such as car engines, metal devices, or chips that are inside the smartphone you're holding right now. Uh, as always, you can find more info about LabVIEW on the web. Google is your friend. So before we begin, let's take a look at the different LabVIEW editions and pricing NI offers. So if I open up a browser, and visit ni.com and I type lab view in the search box. I get a page here where I can hit my lab view and it'll show me another page where uh, it'll have a table showing the different editions and costs for each one. So we have base, full, and professional. And as you scroll down, you'll get an idea uh, about what each one gets you. The biggest differences I can see between base and full is the ability to run on uh, Mac and Linux versus just Windows. And as you scroll down more, you will get more add-ons. Uh, as you see here, um, FPGA support, programming, uh, object-oriented programming, more math libraries, signal processing, web ser services, etc. The biggest selling point for professional is the ability to build executable shared libraries and installers. Um, you'll definitely need this to deploy to customers who most likely will have LabVIEW installed on their machines. Um, you could buy the application builder separately, but that will cost you about $1,500. So you got to do the math there. So it's true, these prices are not cheap. So getting your hands dirty just on your own is pretty much out of reach for some of you. Now these price points purchases are really meant for big companies, even small companies to build out to their employees. Um, there are even options for giant corporations to buy volume licenses, but I'm not going to get into that in this video. Now, for you students or faculty members, let's check out the 1999 student edition. This version is the same as the full edition, which lacks the ability to make executables, but sticks a student edition watermark on your user interfaces. To find this, type in LabVIEW student edition in the and I search box. So let's go back up here. Student edition. Click the first result, then resources. Then you'll find links to educational software sites where you can buy a copy. Um, Um, but before you do that, check with your school to see if you can go through your school site where it's usually offered for free and I'll provide a link. And basically that means you've already bought it with that fat check for tuition you wrote. Okay. So if you're not a student or just don't have that extra cash and all you want to do is write some awesome code in this LabVIEW thing that everybody's talking about, there's hope. 
for a more reasonable 50 bucks, you can get a home edition. That's the same as full with a modern mark, but has the ability to build executable ap applications. Um, it's 32 bits, 32 bit windows only, and it's only offered as uh, the 2014 version. So um, as of this video, 2015, 2016, 2017, they, they don't have a home version yet. Um, this version is geared toward the Arduino and uh, Raspberry Pi crowd. So um, they've made it where you can load LabVIEW onto these targets to make some pretty interesting applications. Um, the best way to find this version is to go to Google and type in LabVIEW home edition and you should be able to go to this here Get resources and purchase from Digilent. So as for me, I am going to run 2017 in evaluation evaluation mode for a while. Um, it'll have a watermark that says evaluation. Um, I'll have 45 days to decide what to do after that. Um, but I might just pull the trigger on the base $399 uh, a year option, which isn't too bad, or go with the 2014 Home Edition for my tutorials since um, a lot of versions, or well, the 2014 version should be okay for um, these videos. Okay, let's begin. So the first step is to download LabVIEW 2017 for your operating system. So you wanna to go to ni.com, type LabVIEW, go to scroll down and hit download LabVIEW. Now on this page, and I presents a bunch of download options for your application type. Click on download for your application. But if you don't know or don't care, any of these will really do. The only difference between each installer are the toolkits, add-ons, and examples they come packaged with. Um, there's always an option to deselect or uninstall them later. So I'll just uh, select the download under measure physical systems with sensors and actuators. Um, you'll have to enter a login, but uh, set up a account if you don't have one yet. Okay, once you've uh, set up an account or logged in, um, you will come to a page where you want to go ahead and download LabVIEW. Click on the download button, we'll start the download. So while that's downloading, let's uh, answer this question. So I'm using Windows 10 on a 64-bit uh, computer, but I choose the 32-bit installer. So what gives? Well, if I Google the README, I'm going to find a table uh, as I scroll down. I can actually hit that. That shows me uh, what modules and toolkits the 32-bit and 64-bit versions support. So from the looks of things, 64-bit has a way to go, but running 64-bit um, gives you a little bit more uh, access to memory. As they talk about here, provides a little bit more access to memory. Um, so decisions, decisions. For me, I'm willing to give up some speed for better compatibility with all these modules and toolkits. So 32-bit it is. Hmm. 
you can always have the option to install 64-bit LabVIEW alongside 32-bit if you want. Um, there's a plus sign beside the additional operating system and language downloads of LabVIEW that shows you um, the various links. Hit this guy and hit download 64 bit. You can even install any other version of LabVIEW on the same machine. If, say, you need to open up code saved in a new version of, uh, of LabVIEW or a future version 2018, 2019. Um, so that's right. If code was saved in a new version of LabVIEW, then you, what you're using it can't be open. So the only way to open it is to um, install that newer version of LabVIEW. It will stay saved in or have the code saved with a special option to allow an older version of LabVIEW to access it. So you'll definitely want to remember this for later. Okay, let's grab some coffee while this thing finished downloading. So it's about four minutes to go. So I'll be back after it downloads. Okay, the download has completed and I have the zip file on my desktop, actually the exe is self extractor. So let's run that. Hit OK. So before hitting unzip, take note of where the installer is going to put your uh, installer files. So on my machine it's going to be C, National Instruments, Downloads, LabVIEW 2017. So uh, when you run this, this will eat up a bunch of space on your uh, hard drive. So after you're done, you can actually just delete everything in this folder to free up some space uh, if you need it. So let's go ahead and unzip that. Hit next, enter your name and organization, enter any serial numbers here. You can leave them blank to run in evaluation mode and put them in later. Uh, I'll, put, I'll leave, leave them blank and just uh, push next. Select the folders where you want things installed, then press next. The defaults are usually um, best. On the features window, you can click on any item you want to install. Um, some things are free and others you need to purchase, which are usually the toolkits. So uh, I just need to play around with code and not interface with any equipment just yet. So for now, I'll just install LabVIEW and uh, VI Package Manager. Uh, the package manager gives you easy access to third-party programming tools. Um, so let me go ahead and just remove things that I don't want. So I do want this. So we selected. Uh, remote execution. No. Um, so if I try to get rid of this, um, it says that I need it in order to run um, LabVIEW, so I'll just leave that there. Um, let's don't install any device drivers, and I don't need this either. So we got LabVIEW, VI Package Manager, and and I Measurement and Automation Explorer. Next here. Accept all the licenses. Since I'm not going to talk to any hardware uh, during my videos in the very beginning, I'll go ahead and keep Fast Startup.
next. Review the summary before hitting next uh, to fire the rockets and let's blast off. While that's turning away, let's go check if there's more coffee in the pot. Okay, Install installation is complete. Hit next. Go ahead and next hit yes on this. And that's it. Congratulations. Uh, I'll restart after this video is complete. Um, well, thanks for watching. Um, in my next video, I'll fire up LabVIEW, um, show you the environment, and go through some settings I always like to tweak after a new install. Um, and maybe I'll actually program something in that video. Um, so keep an eye out for that. See y'all later.